Case Reading Topic 7. Dear Student, Bring Your Opinions With You. Dear Student, Welcome to the Law School Playbook. I'm Hallie Hara, a Professor of Academic Success and Personal Skills Coach to law students and attorneys. I'm glad you're here. Law students, particularly in their first year, look for truth in the cases they read. Even second-year law students likely figure that the judge knows much more about a given topic than they do, so they read cases to see what they can learn. But I want you to think about this. You'll spend a great deal of time in practice arguing that a judge is wrong. Whether you're attempting to distinguish a binding decision or appealing a judge's ruling, you're going to say that the judge's opinion is just that, an opinion, and that the judge got it wrong. Evaluating a case as you read is an important lawyering skill. There are some cases where you don't even have to think about it. Consider, for example, a 2003 Ohio Court of Appeals decision by Judge Mark Painter. The lawsuit was brought against the Cincinnati Reds and the city of Cincinnati based on alleged failure to collect stadium rent. Judge Painter's opinion begins with the following. In keeping with the less than stellar history of stadium construction in Cincinnati is this lawsuit involving the Cincinnati Reds, Cincinnati, and Hamilton County. It has twisted and turned. Parties have been thrown out and substituted, and none of the parties can agree on the rules of the game. The Reds, Cincinnati, Hamilton County, the taxpayer plaintiff and the trial court have become enmeshed in a series of procedural and legal double plays and errors. It is difficult to determine who, if anyone, is on first. We resolve the case by calling the plaintiff out. My guess is that you have a feeling about that opinion. Perhaps you feel that the judge's lighthearted approach is inappropriate in a judicial opinion. If you're a baseball fan, you might think it's terrific. Either way, you might think, if there were more decisions like this, I wouldn't mind reading so much for class. Novice readers accept a judicial opinion as truth, but expert readers form opinions and make judgments as they read. Having opinions and making judgments is important because it promotes active rather than passive reading. The opinion you formulate doesn't necessarily have to be about whether a judge's decision is right or wrong, although that's a fine thing to consider. You might also evaluate the judge's writing style, or whether the judge was too cursory or belabored a particular point. You might consider whether the judge seemed predisposed to rule a certain way, or whether the judge seemed to be stretching the law to reach an outcome. Odds are that you have opinions about most things in life. Think about how often you've used I-M-H-O, or worse yet, I-M-N-S-H-O. Given the substantial investment you are making in law school, it's worth your effort to form and recognize your opinions as you read. Doing so will mean that you're more engaged, which will always work to your benefit. If you would like to read this episode, get suggestions for further reading, or to request individual coaching with me, please visit my website at www.lawschoolplaybook.com. As always, do your best and I'll be rooting for you.